Üçüncü bölümde bakın bizi görev noktamızda neler bekliyormuş. İlk yürüyüşümüzü gerçekleştirdik. Gider gitmez bir yemek yemem de kötü oldu. You've covered a decent distance on the first day of your big journey. You pitch your camp and lie down to sleep on the hard forest floor. When you awake in the morning, your legs are stiff and achy. Trying not to feel sorry for yourself, you throw your rucksack over your shoulder. You're a dwarf, and dwarves don't complain. Dwarves. Hmm, soldan mı gitsek yoksa dümdüz mü? Ben soldan gidip şu yerleşkiyi öğrenmek istiyorum. Belki önüne bir iki kişi çıkar da şey yaparız. 3-5 tecrübe puan kazanırız. Kargılar bir şey parçalıyorsa kesin leş var orada. Daha fazla çıkarım yapana kadar yol yok. Yoldan sap ve sessizce kargılar yaklaş. Manzara mı dikkatli yok yaklaş yaklaş. <gülüyor> And a dwarf's inability to be quiet makes the crows flap around as you move from one bush to another. You give up trying to be stealthy, stand up straight, and see two human bodies in the flattened grass. Güzel, içeri girdik. Ne çıkacak bakalım altında? Burası geldiğimiz yol. Çalı incele. Burada incelenecek bir şeyler yok. Valla ormanlar da güzel yapılmış ha. Hmm. Değil. Nothing. Nothing. Ha şurada bir insan cesedi. A slender man lies in front of you, dressed in an expensive robe. It is in the colors of Turgur the Fair-faced, one of the six Olmuş magi. Oyun ya. The dead Başında bir kızdım ama. Benim anlamadığım matematikten oyun yapıldı ama güzel. Cesedi çevir. I've rakis. There are some narrow stab wounds in the man's chest. The cuts are too big to have been made by arrows. Asaslar öldürmüştür. The sword wounds. Bu kadar mı bildiniz? Bizlere bakalım. You don't see any signs of a struggle in the area where the corpses are lying. Were they stabbed by a companion? A stranger could hardly have crept up on them with such sparse cover. Anlatıcı gerçekten cezbediyor. Biraz ürktüm. You look down on a tall, broadly built man. He's wearing dark brown leather armor that is strengthened with iron plates. There's a sword lying next to him. Was he trying to defend himself against something or someone? There is no blood on the sword. Kim öldürmüş acaba? The man has the same incisions. It's clear that both men were killed by the same weapon. But what that weapon might be, you cannot say. Hmm, dedektiflik de oynuyoruz. Şurada bir şeyler var. Boştur gerçi. Nothing again. You halt. There is something. A rucksack. Aha, çanta. Did someone hide it in the bushes or was it thrown in there? Çantayı araştır. Çanta bırakılır mı? Kim bırakıyormuş çantayı? Tılsım sıkıntılı. Onu almayın. Bir şeyin peşinde ver. Altını al altını. E tılsımı da al var. Korktum tılsım almaktan da. Warmth and a feeling of security flush through your body as you touch the talisman. You feel safer just holding it in your hand. Bir şeyler var. Büyücü tılsımı. İnşallah ortamayız. 50 tecrübe puanı kazandım. 20 civarda altın. Var mı başka? Şuralarda bir şeyler yok. Şuna gidelim. Bu neymiş? Burada bir çanta var herhalde. A rucksack that probably belonged to one of the dead. It seemed to have been searched and then thrown away carelessly. Araştır. You find a few implements, some provisions. Ah, kumanyi harita mı? Çok iyi. Harita ihtiyacımız var. A rope is drawn on it from Parista, Nudin's capital, to Lot Yonin's vault. 
Does this mean that Turga the Fair-Faced is in Parista and wanted to send Lotjonen a message? And if so, why didn't he use magic? Did he want to contact him without anyone noticing? Why all this secrecy? Neden acaba? Aldık mı mektubu? Aldık. Ee, ben görebiliyor muyum mektubun ne olduğunu? Yan görevlerdeyiz şu anda zaten. Yok. Değiliz. Koruma tılsım. Hasar alındığında alınan hasar %50 ihtimalle %50 hasar azalır. 22 günlük yemeğim var. 44 altın karşılığında satabiliyorum. Büyülü yapıtlar. Bunu bakalım ne çıkacak içinden. Koralardan bir yadigar giyinen kişi iyi şans getirir. Giydik mi ki? Bunlar da benim yeteneklerim. İnatçı sağlığı yüzde otuz altındaysa zırh ve hasar avantajları kazanır. Emniz şey yani otomatik devreye giriyor. Aynı anda birkaç düşmana çok hasar veren ve onları geri iten kudretli bir darbe. İyi. 1800'e canım var. Kötü değiliz. You scour the area once more and ask yourself what to do next. Kahve daha fazla ipucu ara. Ölüleri göm. Yani yok kahve daha fazla ipucu ara. Çünkü burada bir ipucu var. Ha çıkışmış orası. E, ölüleri göm. Korkmasınlar. It's time consuming and strenuous work digging shallow graves in the ground with a stick and covering the corpses with a few stones. But it should at least keep the crows from their feasting for a while. You continue on your way so as to put a few more miles between you and your grisly find before night falls. Yani geriye gidilir bence. Daha bir 2, 3, 4, şöyle gitsek 5, 6, kalacak 15, yeah. ben bir gideyim merak ettim, ha, yok muymuş bir şey burada, yokmuş, içeri gir. As the gable end of a small farmhouse and a barn appear from behind a hilltop, you hear the loud cries of children at play. A girl runs along the path laughing, followed by a small boy with a big stick in his hand. The boy is trying to catch up his sister with a determined look on his face, but is finding it difficult to keep his short legs under control on the uneven path. Bence onlara bir selamlamamız var. Children. As you raise your hand to greet them, the boy catches sight of you. His eyes grow wide. And he points to you with a chubby little finger. Korktular. All he can manage to say Aklı is, tabii ki de. "There." Now the girl has turned to face you too. Before you can say a word, she lifts her little brother up into her arms and runs screaming towards the farmhouse. Takip et. Without rushing, takip et, takip. you follow the children to the farmhouse into which they've disappeared. After a few moments, they reappear accompanied by their parents. Their father is a thick-set man with grey hair. I am Apache. This is my wife, Remsa. The blonde woman nods a greeting almost imperceptibly and clasps her daughter tightly to her. She looks you over with an anxious expression. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Tungal. You try to make your voice sound as harmless as possible. <gülüyor> Ha, olayı soralım. Over the last few days have you seen two travelers heading east? Opatia looks at his wife, but she shakes her head. Why do you ask? I found them. Two dead bodies on the side of the road. Bilgisinler ki çocuklarını korusunlar. Benden koruyacaklarına. Bilinmeyen düşmandan korusunlar. Was it orcs? Remsa, what would orcs be doing up here? It was probably just bandits. I'm sorry if I scared your wife and children. The man waves dismissively. No, no. It's just that my fair woman is especially jumpy these days. 
The orcs have been spotted near Carlsted. You should take it more seriously. The farmer's wife clutches her daughter even tighter before the girl finally protests. Artık bu oldu herhalde kızı. The boy steps forward excitedly and cuts the air with his stick. If strangers come, we're supposed to run away. But Ama I ben onlara vurabilirim. Opatia pats his son on the head, laughing. We're safe. The orcs have no reason to come so far north. Devam, sohbete devam. To one of the bigger villages if there are orcs around. The farm is our livelihood. We can't just leave the place. The fields don't look after themselves. King Tinagorn's cavalry will take care of the orcs. Or Lord Yonan and his magi. But the cavalry can't be everywhere at once. Even a handful of orcs would be enough to finish us. Finish us. Once the seeds are planted, I'll build the hideaway. Just as you wish. But what use is a hideaway if we've nothing to eat in the autumn? Tam bir İngiliz. Ha, bu beni ilgilendiriyor mu bu soru? Bunu dersem yüzde yüz ölecekler net. Arkadaş yap kurtulsun çocuklara. The dwarf is right. Remsa gives you a thankful smile before turning to her husband. We'll take care of the other problems when we come to them. The most important thing is that we're safe. Opatia stays silent for a moment, a gloomy expression on his face, before shrugging his shoulders. All right then. Dwarves do know best when it comes to orcs. You bid farewell and set off on your way. The children follow you for a while. Before saying their goodbyes and, laughter, and running back towards the farm. Şimdi gidelim. Fazla da uzatmaya gerek yok. 17 günüm kaldı. Macerada 9. günüm. Acaba aşağı gitsem mi? Güzel süre git. Burası neresi? Bilmiyorum. You see a flickering light through the trees some way from the path. It might come from a campfire. You creep through the undergrowth towards the fire. Yeah, bunu ikinci atlaya düştüm. Direkt paldır küldür dalacaktım ya. And small twigs from breaking under every heavy step you take. You curse quietly to yourself, but go on until you can see what's going on. Three broad-shouldered men with axes sit at a campfire. On which two rabbits are sizzling. It's only thanks to the Ay, fact that the men are joking be. loudly with one another and not paying attention to their surroundings that they haven't discovered you yet. Hmm, dinleyelim. Ama sessizce yanaşamıyorum ki. Risk alacağım. You sneak up on the men until a thick branch breaks loudly under your boot. You realize, terrified, that the men's voices have fallen silent. The men jump up and grab their axes. Who is there? Who is there? You step into the light of the fire, your hands raised in a conciliatory gesture. My name is Tungdil. I'm only... Well, I'll be. Is that a groundling? The men look you over suspiciously. Hmm, two What's a groundling doing creeping around here? Are you after our gold? I bet you was hoping to slit our throats once we fell asleep, subterranean scum. Subterranean. I shouldn't have crept up on you. I'm sorry, but that is really no reason to be so unfriendly. Oh, I didn't intend to insult your <laughs> lordship in any way. <laughs> but all grandlings are thieves and good for nothing. Exactly. Take control of your voice again. Have you met many dwarves? Shut it, you filthy thief! Ona, ona, o nasıl İngilizce lan? Benim bile İngilizcem bunu anlamaya yetmedi. Bir düşün, ben bir düşeyim. Bu baltayı ağaç keseyim diye taşımıyorum. Çatışalım önce. Ortalık kızışsın. İlk hamle onlardan gelsin çünkü katil değiliz. The men are visibly unsettled and lower their axes a little. Gerek yok yani. Ha şöyle. Kıt kıt kıt. Abi. 
yapılır. Bir tavuk. <gülüyor> Çünkü iki tane adamı keseyim ki. Hem erzaklarını alayım. Pişmiş tavukları da var. Hem de biraz 3-5 altınları vardır bunların. The next morning, visions of axes, faces full of hate, fists and heavy boots flicker through your befuddled mind. Your first attempt to move fails when pain shoots through every bone, every muscle and every nerve in your body. It's a long time before you manage to sit up and tend to your wounds in the early sunlight. There's no trace of the woodcutters. They must have thrown you into the undergrowth near the campfire once they were finished with you. Anlamadım ben. Kıt kıt kıdak dedik kestiler mi beni? O orbit yok etmişler. Şuraya bak sağlarından eser kalmamış. Neyse üstündekileri çalmamışlar bari. Altını mı çalmışlar ama değil mi? Yok. Anla yani demek ki daha çömeziz. <gülüyor> Keşke uysallığa devam etseydim. Beraber yemek yerdik ya. Aha, biri var burada. Bunu beklemiyordum. En yakındaki balıkçı ses versin ya. Yani. Yok boş ver manzarayı izlemeye. Karşıya mı geçeyim acaba? Yani buradan buraya geçecek büyük ihtimalle gerek yok. En başı niye götürüyor yolculuğa devam et. Ha, karşıya geçirecek doğru. Ben de şu nehri kastedim bu da bir nehir olduğu için. Ama onun kastettiği nehir şu arbi nehir. Neyse biz uzun yoldan gidelim. You look down on a large village on the banks of the water. Some of the village is built on stilts in the river. A wooden bridge spans the fast flowing water. A huge wooden palisade has been erected to protect the village from attack. The guards on the palisade are watching you. Their armor looks well cared for and well made. The smith who made them knew what he was doing. You conclude that the men depend on the protection the armor offers and aren't just hmm. wearing them to look good. They're Asker var herhalde not burada. Villages. Ah girdik içeri. Güzel kapanışı burada yaparız. Neye kalp atışı var? Yaklaş direkt. The double gate is made of strong planks, sturdy but still much less solid than the fixed parts of the palisade. Security has been forgone here for practical reasons. Never a good idea when building fortifications. Ama burası zaten uçurum değil ya. E, çiğ almıyorlar mı? Ha, şurada konuşmamız. Some of the guards begin to whisper as you near the gate. Hello up there. Hello. What brings you to fair good water? And have you seen any orcs on your travels, Groundling? The man leaning over the palisade eyes you up and down carefully. Ah. Good water is well known for its hospitality. A fact that you've just made up yourself. <laughs> Let me in and I will tell other travelers all about it. I regret to inform you that we cannot allow you to enter. The gates stay closed once night has fallen. There is certainly no regret showing in the man's face. Kovulduk. De Dekorasyonunuz pek de ilginç. Köyden yok canım. Tetikte kalın mı? Buna koca şeyi nasıl saldırayım tek başıma? 10 30 tane adam var burada. Daha iki tane ayrıtı kesemedim. Zırhlıları nasıl keseceğim? I'm a blacksmith and a dwarf. Let me tell you, your gate might look solid, but it won't withstand a real orc assault. The murmuring all around him makes the man pause for a moment. 
If anyone else had criticized the stronghold, they'd have been laughed down and shooed away. But no one understands defense systems like the dwarves. A dwarf blacksmith who just happens to be standing in front of our gate. Nalbant mı? Abarttık biraz. Mavi sıradan yüksek geçitindeki savunmasından ben sorumluyum. That's right. I can see to it that all of you crack open ki. their skulls on your gate, just like at home on the high pass. Skulls that add up to hard cash for you. You only know about the second link stronghold from books, but you can see in the man's face you've pushed the right button. Aynı, all right yani. then, you can spend the night in the village. İyi, you begin work tomorrow morning, yani. and it a better work than you promised. Of course, it's a trifle. It's a trifle. Güzel, girdik içeri. Kaledeyiz. Sabahlama zamanı. After a meal, you spend the night in the comfort and shelter of a good water tavern. The next morning, you feel fully refreshed. You strengthen the gate with cross braces of wood and iron, using your experience and skill. Now it should be able to withstand the attack for much longer. Mercenaries and villagers alike watch you work, clearly impressed. As you finish, a man approaches you. Well done, dwarf. We were right to bring you into our village. The village grew rich through bridge tolls, and this wealth must be defended. Hmm. İcadım sizi memnun ettiyse karşında ödeme almayı ayırt edemem. Güzel. Çok iyi bir seçenek. Hemen bunu seçiyoruz. I spent almost half an orbit strengthening the gate. How about a bit of compensation? The council member's face darkens. We've paid for food and lodgings, and because we're generous, we've also thrown in the bridge toll. That's the day, Mr. Dwarf. Kovuldum ya, tü. Neyse, her türlü gidiyorduk zaten. O zaman ilerleyişimiz tam olarak nerede bitiyor? Arkadan fırtınalar. Bilmiyor. Sınırım mı? Yaklaşık 1, 2, 3. Şöyle gidersek 4, 5, 6. Şöyle gidersek 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yine 6. Ama ben ne yapacağım? 1, 2, 3. Şuraya girmem lazım. 4, 5, 6 ile. Bakalım bir sonraki bölümde bunların hepsini öğreniriz.